Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be seeing how to make mutton biryani. This mutton biryani is so delicious and full of flavors. This is my favorite biryani and do give a try and share me the feedback. Let's begin by cooking the mutton first. Take mutton in a pressure cooker and add in salt, turmeric powder and water. The cooking time for mutton depends on the quality of mutton and the pressure cooker you use. It took 12 whistles to cook the mutton in the pressure cooker for us. Now let's make mutton biryani masala powder. This masala powder gives unique taste and aroma to our mutton biryani. Take all the ingredients in a pan and dry roast it. All the masalas will release its flavor while dry roasting it. Sort it for a couple of minutes and add in the stone flour and bay leaf. The masalas shouldn't change the color while dry roasting, so sort it for 3 to 4 minutes and powder it. This is our first masala powder mix. We have to make second masala paste using shallots, green chilli, garlic and ginger. Our biryani masala powder and the shallot masala paste is ready now. We have taken 2 cups of jeera sampa rice here. Do not use regular basmati rice friends because the flavor of the mutton biryani comes from the masala powders and jeera sampa rice. Soak the rice for 20 minutes and strain it. Here we have sliced 1 tomatoes and we have taken coriander leaf, mint leaf and curd. These are pre-preparation before making mutton biryani. In a pot, heat some oil and ghee. Add in the shallots, green chilli and ginger garlic paste into it. Sort it nicely until the raw smell of the masalas goes off. My amma is only preparing the mutton biryani and this is our family's favourite one. Once the shallots are cooked, add in the biryani masala powder into it. Sort it for a couple of minutes until everything combines well. Now add in the Kashmiri chilli powder, turmeric powder and regular garam masala powder. Sort it nicely until the raw smell of the masala powders goes off. Now add in a sliced tomato and sort it. Add in salt as needed and sugar. Well, sugar doesn't give any sweetness to our biryani but it balances all the flavors. Now add in thick curd and cook well. The curd shouldn't be much sour. Cook it for 3-4 to four minutes and continue stirring. Well, the masalas are cooked well and look at the consistency friends. Now add the coriander and the mint leaf into it. This masala will be so aromatic and it's almost done. We have to cook the masala from low to medium flame. Now add in the cooked mutton into it. We have removed the stock from the mutton and we'll be using it while cooking the rice. Sort it for a couple of minutes and in goes the mutton stock as well as water. We have taken 2 cups of jeera sampa rice and hence using 3 cups of mutton stock as well as water together. Cover it and let the mutton stock and the water boil. Look at the color of our masala mix friends and it's time to add the rice now. Meanwhile we are boiling egg to serve with mutton biryani. Add in the soaked jeera sampa rice into it. Give it a stir and check for salt and add if needed. 
cover it with the lid and cook the biryani. Start it with cloves if there is any opening on the lid. Give it a stir in the middle and cover it and cook well. We have to cook it on medium flame for 10 minutes and in dum for another 10 minutes. The eggs are boiled now and time to remove it. Our first 10 minutes is over and give it a stir. During the entire process, we have to cover it and cook the mutton biryani. We have placed the biryani pot on a tawa and cooking it for 10 minutes. We have to cook it on low flame while placing it on tawa. So the total cooking time is 20 minutes. Once the mutton biryani is cooked, add in ghee as needed. In go some coriander leaf. Our aromatic super delicious mutton biryani is ready to be served now. To accompany with mutton biryani, my amma is preparing raita. For that, we have taken onion, carrot, coriander leaf and green chilli in a chopper. Chop it finely like this. Add in curd as needed and salt. Give it a mix and our raita is ready now. We used to make this raita whenever we make any types of biryani. Meanwhile, we are preparing grape sponge and I have shared this recipe before in our channel. I will leave the recipe link in the description below. This biryani tastes almost like talapa katti biryani. We serve this delicious mutton biryani with puppet, boiled egg, raita, grape sponge, ice cream and pickle. Do try this mutton biryani and do not forget to share me the feedback. I'll see next video. Until then, bye bye and take care.